Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andreas, from Comor Sports, and here we are up the Sioux Valley today, looking to see if we can't find some snow. As you can see, there is some snow to be had. It's just whether or not we can find anything that might be rideable. But it's a beautiful view up here, and uh, regardless of whether or not we get to ride any snow, I'm just stoked to be up here in nature outdoors with my buddy Chris and his dog, Dot. What do you think? How was the drive up here, man? Yeah, the drive up here is, uh, it's, oh man. It was a little rough, but it was okay. We did it. We have four wheel drive. Yeah, we got to do a little bit of hiking to get up there, but I think we'll just start going and maybe it'll be an hour, maybe two. Just have fun, fun on the journey. The sun's out. It's fantastic this looking. Is, this is literally the first day of sun in like three weeks. Yeah, like we haven't had sun guys in, in, in like a month. In October, <laughs> no sun. This is the first day. It feels so good to be in the sun. I am sweating, but holy crap, feels great to be out here. Whew, it's looking fantastic, guys. What do you think, Dot? All right, guys, we're about halfway up right now, and the snow is fantastic. It's way better than we even expected. There's probably a, about a good foot and a half of new snow up here. Check it out. We're on the brink of glory. Can't wait to strap in and see what we find. I think it's gonna be a great day for my Assassin Pro. Another beautiful day in the mountains. <laughs> We're scoping out the spot, guys. What do you think, Chris? This place is huge. It goes all the, like way over there and Winter Wonderland. Pretty awesome up here. How's it coming, Chris? Yeah, it's tough work, but it's super rewarding. Because you can see our prize, and it's going to be totally worth it to sit out down this. All right, guys, here we are at the top. Chris and I have been hiking for the last couple hours and now we're finally in the Alpine and the sun has just come out. So we're gonna be headed down that away. And these are gonna be my first turns this season, so I'm super stoked. How about you, man? Whoa. Let me get out of this. Me too. <laughs> Dude, I'm so pumped. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Can't wait. This is a dream come true. What about you, Dot? Dot is digging to the center of the earth. Will she find what is buried at the base of the snow? I think there's treasure down there. Anyway guys, as you can see, we're getting ready here to get going. Today I'm riding my Solomon Assassin Pro. 
I think it's going to be a good board just to do a little bit of everything here out in the uh, back country. Still has that camber dominant profile for that snappy feedback and that energetic response that you want out of a board. But then a nice wide tip and tail for flotation in the deeper stuff. So there's about a foot and a half of snow. It's up to my knee. I'm more than confident that this thing will give me the float that I want. What do you want today, Chris? I'm riding, well, I think it's like a 2015 Burton Process. Basically, process of elimination, that's how I got here, is the only rock board that I have, so that's why I got it. Are you set back the whole way? Yeah, pretty much maximum setback. I got my rear on like minus three and my front on about plus 18. So set up for that kind of free ride directional, and I'm hoping it's gonna hold up. I also have my board set back but I've got it set back uh, and I'm still riding an 18-18 stance. So 18 degrees in the front and negative 18 in the back. That's sort of my favorite way to ride, so. All right, we're gonna do some mouth cam and see how this goes. Yep. How was that, man? Dude, that, that was so good. The snow is like very heavy, but at the same time, it's super fun and there's a lot of compression underfoot. So it's slow, but you know, it's a, it's a good ease into the season because you know that you're not going to hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's definitely not perfect snow, but it's so good to be up here just being out and riding. Dot did so well. Dot, you're a champ. She just started running after you, like, uh, like when she heard your call, she was gone. <laughs> and then I chased, I chased up to her, and then I passed her. And, and then yeah, she was, she was taking your old line, and I was going side by side with her. <laughs> Here we go, for round two. Amazing! 
Oh, and in the sun. Could not have asked for a better day. And what is it, Chris? It's like October 21st, 22nd. 20, like 22nd. Yeah, it's still October. Oh man. It feels so amazing to be back on the snow. It feels so good to just link some turns and, and feel that springy pop up when you're turning in some powder. I just love powder riding. I love being in the backcountry. In the sun. In the <laughs> sun. Prime timeline. Prime timeline. Good. Where did we uh where did we come from? Where's our hiking Back trail? This way. Oh that way, eh? Milking all the cows, churning lots of butter. guys we're further down the trail now but there are still some cool little spots to be had so we're taking it easy but we're also trying to use as much of the vertical as possible to make our way back down the path The Assassin Pro is handling super well in these conditions. Very impressed by how well it's doing in the deeper powder, considering the fact that how twin it is. It's a twin directional, but I've set it back and the nose is keeping up nice and floaty. So I'm pretty stoked on this thing. It's, it's buried in snow right now. Hey Dot, it is so majestic in here, guys. It feels, it feels like I'm in an enchanted forest, you know? This is exactly why I moved to BC to come and do stuff like this. <laughs>
I'm just rolling around. Yeah, oh man, we are on rocks. <laughs> Right, guys great first day of the season i think that's the end of the snowboarding portion of this trip because we are now back down to bare bone dirt and rocks and grass and roots underneath the snow so you can see we've gone from being in like knee deep powder to being just into regular old you know maybe like three or four centimeters of pow down here in the woods so you can see there's a huge difference up in the actual alpine there's a ton of snow because all of the rain that we've been getting recently translates to snow up at the top portion of the hill versus down here in the forest we still have snow but it hasn't accumulated anywhere near as much as it has up at the top there's that drastic of a temperature change so i've got my board strapped back up to my backpack and uh, we're going to start the descent back down to the car which is parked at the top of a logging road all right ready dot dot's ready Here we are, just walking back down the trail. Oh man, fantastic sunset. That sun's gleaming through the woods at that nice horizontal angle. Couldn't ask for a better day. And we found Chris eating a snack. You want a macadamia nut? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, we go for it. Scoop. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> Macadamia. <laughs> you had a bit in your beard, but it fell out. All right guys, so here we are back down at the car. We made it back down the hill safely and uh, that was our number one concern was to get back in time to make sure that we were still in the light when we're driving back down this sketchy logging road. It was like Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa all rolled into one. Yeah, I'm thinking like that was so good. I could see us going a couple of more times before the season starts. Yeah, because easy. It was such a simple hike and the hike wasn't that demanding. Uh, for what we got at the end. Yeah, we got so much altitude already up this road. Maybe next time bring skins or snowshoes. I think that it was like a perfect combination because the lower portion of the hill wouldn't have been very good for skinning anyway. So the fact that we boot packed it up 
uh, was, I think, going to be beneficial, especially if we do it again, because now we've tracked out a proper trail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, so good. All right, Andre, so we just had the day of our lives, or at least our summers, snowboarding for the first time. What do you think? What was the crack? What are we doing? Oh, How's man, so right now we're just driving down the uh, the old logging road, which is pretty rocky and bumpy and chundery, but uh, we're taking it slow. Yeah, this is the slow bit right here. Yeah, you want to take this part slow so that you don't... Oh, there's a little dinger. Pop a tire. But uh, yeah, we're we're just driving down in the sunset. Um, what's the old cowboy thing when you drive away in the sunset? Rawhide. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, that's what we're doing. And uh, yeah, we're just reminiscing on what a great day it was. Can't believe how the how all of the things came together for just one awesome day. It was perfect coming together of all factors. Yeah. It worked amazingly. Yeah, show them the road that we're on right now. Um, you, do, you don't, it's, it's definitely a GoPro effect. This isn't the steepest part, but uh, it's it's pretty long. We're definitely going down some serious altitude here. Oh, man. oh big hole there on the right. You good. Yeah, nice. Perfect. That's how you do it. Thank you.